Hi guys, it's me, Pooh Bear 253 and I was going to do a short changing video here with Mr. Alex. He said hello everyone. He just has a striped onesie on and I was going to put on this red romper from Reborn Love is Real that she actually sent for um Mr. Dimitri, but I figured the red would look cute on Mr. Alex. And I'm just sitting here watching The Simpsons right now. And I just wanted to already like pre-get him ready so I could just put the clues on and So the video wouldn't be that long. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Even though it's the end of the weekend. I hope everyone had a very nice Valentine's Day. Me and my hubby went out to eat at a restaurant. We are kind of past the uh, whole exchanging candies and stuff and with our diet and stuff we don't need anything to help us gain weight so <clears throat> so we just went out to dinner and I um, got dressed in a nice new pretty dress that I had gotten had torrid had a nice sale where you buy one dress and you get another one for free. So I got two dresses. One of them I got absolutely free. I made sure that the dresses cost the exact same so I could get, you know, the same price off. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Because it looked like it was going to be kind of small for Dimitri. But this is kind of big on Alex, so I'm sure to fit Dimitri just fine. So I guess he'll wear it next. It's just a little Ralph Lauren little outfit here. But I figured with Alex's skin tone, it would look cute on him. But I know the red would look cute on Dimitri, too. But anywho, it's so funny how things look smaller, and then once you put it on the baby, it's either perfect fitting or, you know, or whatever. It's just... You just always got to try it on them to see what it's going to look like. And something else that I've kind of, um, kind of trying to get over the stigma that I placed on the color red. When I was younger, um, and being plus size, red was not your friend due to a saying that the children used to say they'd say hey Kool-Aid you know from the commercials the Kool-Aid container little thing and if you wore red and it, insinuating that you were really fat and all that type of stuff so that's kind of where the stigma of me not wanting to wear red came from and since me and hubby have been losing a little weight and everything I've uh, confidence is growing a little bit and I've been wearing a little red I wore a red and black dress for Valentine's Day and if you're friends with me on Facebook you saw me in it there's my little guy my first change in video on the new boppy pillow that we got from Target.com. I said, now I gotta do something with this hair, huh? So I'm gonna brush his hair out and comb it out. I wanna spray it, but I don't think I'm gonna spray it though. So let's brush his hair and then see how he looks. So there he is with his cute little red romper on. I think he looks pretty cute. Like I say, it's pretty big though. So 
I'm going to try it on Mr. Dimitri and see how it looks on him. I love outfits that show off his little tootsies because I think out of all my babies, he has the cutest toes. I don't know. Uh, all of them have cute toes, but I really like Alex's toes. He has really cute feet. <clears throat> and I have little Miss Olivia here in my lap. And I know I had said that, you know, that I wanted to possibly put her up for adoption so that I can get another baby. But um, it's going to have to be a change of plan because I just, I just can't seem to part. It's, <laughs> I don't know, I just have a sickness or what, but. I just can't seem to part with my dolls and I just don't really know what I'm going to do about that little fact about myself. The fact that I can't part with them. I don't know what I'm going to actually do and I think I may end up just having 11 babies. Because I still really want the preemie and I have decided I really wanted twins because I love the preemie boy clothes and the preemie girl clothes. But I've decided I want to get a preemie boy. And I know who I want to get to reborn him. And when the time is right, I will ask her and set it up and get it started. Um, uh, but like I say, right now is not a good time. I'm trying to get a surplus of money first um, before. Um, and oh, it was something else. Oh, and I am currently on the hunt for a kit. I have not come across a preemie kit that I'm absolutely in love with yet. I haven't really done a whole lot of research. If anyone knows of a preemie kit that I could possibly get, I have seen two preemie kits that I really like, but they're like limited edition kits and they're gone. And I don't even know how I could get my hands on those kits. I can't even remember the name of it. The one that I really want was really, really cute really cute kit um dang it and I think it was a Bonnie Brown kit if I'm not mistaken no no it wasn't it wasn't a Bonnie Brown kit it was a different kit but I know Bonnie Brown is pretty popular you know as far as the preemie kits go and just you know kits in general because so I have a Bonnie Brown baby there she is right there Miss Charlemagne and um yep shoe I took Mr. Alex out of that outfit and I just start holding this little girl and I just was like, ugh. <laughs> like, I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I don't know. And, you know, I just, I just don't know. I, I just can't seem to part with them. I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Honestly, I have no clue what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I just wanted to do a changing video and stop in and say hello. Um, I hope everyone is well. hope everybody's doing good. And I hope you, um, everyone had someone that they care about or was around their loved ones for... Valentine's Day or, you know, their hubby or boyfriend and stuff like that. My, I just got a lot on my mind right now. Just really wanting some new, fresh faces in the nursery but can't part with the old faces. And I'm just having a real hard time with that. And I just don't really know what to do as far as that goes. I don't know. I'm just kind of stuck. Okay, we got this baseball one, but it's white. And I don't have anything like red and blue pacifier. Except for a dinosaur pacifier he just took off. It has red and blue. But we don't want to wear that. It's a baseball one. I think I'll just stick with the Winnie the Pooh one. That one's cute. And the um, 
newborn lounger was a breeze to change the babies in. It was didn't have any problem keeping him in position while I was changing him and stuff. So that's it. Yeah. Just sitting here, hope he just fixed my laptop. It was I was having issues with playing videos and he figured out what it was and fixed it so yay hubby he rocks there's little miss Isley there miss yuri mr teaker hanging out over there and there's in the closet and i'm just leaning back right here and i'm still debating on getting that little cover that matches for this i want it so bad but i'm like Ugh. That is unnecessary. You don't need it. This has a cover on it. You know, it's neutral. It's cute already. It's got the little animals on there. You know, just leave well enough alone, Holanda. But I just keep thinking about getting that Winnie the Pooh one. So, so yeah, I have to um, go get my uh, play log so I can log in my uh, changing of Mr. Alex here to keep it together because I, I just have such a hard time because I just am so connected to all of my reborns and I have a hard time choosing who to change and so it's just much easier for me to just have a log to tell me who to play with so but I'm just kind of spaced out over here um I had some stuff left over for the online yard sales so people asked about a few things but I just I just been busy and I'm just going to take the rest of it to once upon a child sell it and just be through with it. So I have to worry about, you know, anything else but uh so yeah, so I'm just going to go sell the rest of it at once upon a child tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow and Tuesday for Mardi Gras. I'm going to go to once upon a child and go to some other places maybe if I have if I'm lucky I could find some things that I can so that I can send out some more love mail. I wouldn't mind sending out some more love mail. Um, I have to get my list and see, you know, who I would like to send something out to. And my problem is, like, I don't really have a lot of time to watch videos to really see, you know, what people really like and things like that. Because I would like to get something that I know that you would like. Uh, for the people that I do have on the love mail list, and it's just, uh, it's, it just, I just, watching the videos is just very time consuming, and like, I just have such limited time, and it sucks, and I really would like to watch videos and get to know more people and what they like and their dislikes so that I don't buy you something that you don't like, you know, so I don't know as far as that goes. So I'm going to just have to work on that. I'm going to have to find one person I really would like to send some love mail to and just kind of stalk their videos and kind of get an idea of the type of stuff that they would like and kind of surprise them with it. <clears throat> yep. That's about it, you guys. I said I was going to get off a long time ago, so I'm going to be true to my word now. Um, It was nice chatting with you guys, and... I hope to see you guys in uh, another video um, in the future, the near future, hopefully. <laughs> um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. And um, I guess I will chat with you guys in the next video. Peace, bye, guys. Uh, peace, bye, bye, and I'll see you guys later.